for YouTube changed my life with only 500 subs. Yes, YouTube changed my life with only 500 subscribers. This thing is blowing up. This thing is blowing up. This is going 100,000 views, 200,000 views. Now I'm looking at views a whole different way. Yo, these people are really getting rich on YouTube. Like, if this continues to climb, this video could possibly reach a million views. That's when he says, yo, I'm gonna have to see about you and take it down. I know what I'm about to see about me. That means I will kill you. What's going on, YouTube? Yo, it's the 4th of July, guys. 2024. I wonder where you guys are watching the fireworks at tonight. 4th of July is definitely one of my favorite holidays because I love fireworks. But today I want to talk about how YouTube changed my life with only 500 subs. Yes, YouTube changed my life with only 500 subscribers. And I'm going to take you back because now I have a couple thousand subscribers now. But I don't think I would even got to a couple thousand and kept making videos if this thing didn't happen. So let me tell you. It is September 2023 and I'm going through a hard time because we just built All Dreams Columbia. I invested all of my money, $55,000. Do you see this number right here? That's 53,000. That was March 14th. This is today, September 11th, and this is how much is left into building out All Dreams Columbia. <laughs> It's gonna be too much that, right? Yeah. Give my opinion now. <laughs> um, we built the offices. We we uh, bought computers, cameras, all type of things. You know, painted everything. We did the the field of dreams. If you've seen it, you know it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And uh, we helped me, you know, we helped Miguel with his baseball training. You know, we you know helped him uh, get a dream supporter. Okay. We helped Harleen get a dream supporter. So yeah, so that's that's the hat. Well, actually, see? we helped Angie. We we documented Angie's um, her whole process in going to Boca Ramanga. So I went to Boca Ramanga and filmed her. She won two gold medals at that event. So things are going well. However, around July, we're running out of money. <laughs> running out of money for the business. I'm trying to figure out how do we make this a business? I know it's something there. These athlete stories are so valuable and people want to support these athletes and we need to continue. So we had the Inspire collection, we had Angie, Angie's collection, Dream Girl, we had Miguel's, Sluggers, we had Harleen's, uh, uh, Dream Skate Company, uh, Yasmith, uh, I Love Dreams, Tatiana, uh, All Dreams Basketball. You know, we were working with all of these young people. How, uh, we had uh, Afro Netta and the Palenque collection. So this is the collection right here. But it just wasn't converting like we needed it to convert in order to make the money to sustain, right? So I'm like, how do we do this? And all of this stuff is documented and filmed. I'm like, yo, how do we tell these stories? People just wasn't watching. So I'm like, man, I don't know what's going on. Or whatever so I'm like how do we build a platform for you know these these athletes you know where it, it can document and I'm this is my, my thinking but I'm like I don't know I just was I was lost I'm like how do we do that this is I don't know I don't I don't know um how I can make revenue and also we're running out of money and and it's like ugh, man how do we how do we continue this? And my visa is, is coming up, right? So I'm thinking September, I'm past my visa time. And then, so in July, I just wanna back up because 
Abraham quits in July and Abraham was running all of my operations. So we're gonna use this in the bridge. This something will be safe. Um, a lot of money action. Let's go for that. Let's do it. So like all of the translation, all of the um, daily operations he was running. So he quits. So by se September, I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm over my visa. I'm running out of money. I need to go home, right? And before I went home, I convinced this guy that was an engineer from Ireland to come on my team to help me flush out what a platform looks like. And we agreed to start building this, techn this, this, uh, this technology company, right? Because before it was only just inspired t-shirts and uh, the podcast. Yeah, everything there. Yeah. Microphone. All right. So this could be. It's always a possibility when you leave. Place, there's no guarantee that you can come down you know, that that you even come back. September I get home and man I'm discouraged. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super discouraged because like man, I just invested all of this money into this into All Dreams Columbia and I know it's something here, but I don't know if it's something here, right? <laughs> if that makes any sense. So we start building this this thing, right? We you know we're having these meetings and we're building this thing. And um meanwhile, I am like, man, I should make YouTube videos. My style was not converting like I wanted it to convert. But I also wasn't as consistent as I needed to be, right? So, um, <clears throat> I'm like, maybe I just start making YouTube videos again. By the way, I love YouTube. I love YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since like 2012, 2011. And I had some success on YouTube because I had a video go viral. It's one of your number one fans. When... I went and surprised Tafik, brought him a, a New England Patriots hat. Oh. <laughs> hey, Rob Gronkowski. We made a get well video for Rob Gronkowski. He had broke his forearm or something like that. And um, uh, Rob Gronkowski was Tafik's favorite player. So we made a get well video for him. And um, I sent that video to the Gronks, to the Gronkowskis, and they sent it to Barstool Sports and the video just goes viral. So that's my first time like seeing success on YouTube. I'm like, yo, wow, this is crazy. And this is like 2012, I would say. Yeah, 2012, maybe 2013. Around that time, I don't, I don't remember exactly. But um, that was my first time seeing any success from YouTube. Not monetary. But wow, a video going viral really uh, helps your endorphin, your, your endorphins. Like, you know, like, it's like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. People commenting on your video, something that you created from your mind, an idea. You know, it's something very, very special about that. And that's started me to really fall in love with YouTube. Even right now, I don't watch TV. I don't even have a TV in my house. Um... But all I do is watch YouTube. So all I do is watch YouTube, right? So um, I'm thinking, what do I do? So I had all of this raw footage on my hard drives. And uh, I was like, all right, well, let's try a, Gron or a Gronkowski video. So I uploaded like raw video of me taking Tafik to the Patriots game in Foxborough and uh, Tafik and us going on the field and hanging with Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, didn't convert like hardly no views or whatever no engagement maybe it was the title maybe it was something like that but it just didn't do well at all and um so i think i made another video 
but then at the same time i remember i'm like and i have to give uh like props to uh my homeboy king lj productions 504 because he was like yo just keep making videos so i'm like all right cool i'm gonna keep making videos and um so that's what i did and 42 doug at the time was uh just getting out of jail so i remember i had this footage that uh i went to 42 doug's house when he first bought it and uh i was like man let me just upload the raw footage of that encounter with 42 doug and um so i did and i was like man i hope it get like a thousand views no that thing went crazy immediately by the next day i had a thousand subs by that night i had four thousand hours of watch time i wake up in the middle of the night they're saying yo i can be a part of the youtube platform the partner platform or whatever and um yo i'm monetized and the video is continuing continuing to climb and i'm like yo this is crazy i mean i'm talking about like you can watch it by the hour it was just it was just going crazy and you see the revenue coming more and more and more so this thing is blowing up this thing is blowing up this is going hundred thousand views two hundred thousand views and I'm just watching and I'm also watching the revenue. I'm like, yo, I probably can make a thousand dollars, a couple of grand off this video. This video could possibly hit a million dollars. I mean, not a million dollars, but a million views. And you know, like I said, like we're like business, we're in a crunch. We're like, we need money anyway. And then the DM comes, uh, yo, uh, because how I got to 42 Doug's house is that my friend sold 42 Doug the house and he wanted to bring him gifts. And that's what, you know, that's why we were there. And I was there to, to, to film it with him or whatever. And, um, I get the DM and it says, yo, Doug wants you to take the video down. So I'm like, bro, I actually asked him, could I film? Or whatever because i did i asked him i'm saying yo can i you know what i'm saying like it's okay to film no my no my like i'm leaving it up then it keeps going now it's at like 330 340,000 views like like i'm talking about like money like i've never seen on youtube before and i'm like so this is what everybody's talking about <laughs> right this is what everybody's talking about and the cpm wasn't like it was like a crazy high cpm it was a hip-hop thing so it's not like a financial cpm so i'm like thinking in my head i'm like yo i can only imagine what people really making on youtube right and um <laughs> so <laughs> my head is turning like going crazy i'm like now i'm looking at views a whole different way and i'm looking at engagement a whole different way i'm like yo these people are really getting rich on youtube like like really this is really a thing and um then it happens again maybe a couple weeks it rides more and more you know without hearing anything and then it happens again but this time is actually from 42 doug yo take that shit down i don't want people seeing my house i don't think you could see the house but um yeah, so what do I do? I send him the, by the way, this GoPro is very, very janky, but I'm gonna finish the story right now. Um, so Watch this, watch this. I think I was at the point where I get a DM from 42 Doug, and he says, Look yo, Look I this. don't want people knowing my. Like, it just stopped.
want to finish. So I want to finish the story. I knew this was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to be directly from 42 Doug. I get a DM from 42 Doug to take the video down. He's saying, yo, I don't know what's up with you niggas. I don't know you. Take that video down. I don't want people know so I don't want people knowing where my house is. But I get it. Um But I immediately, because I knew it was coming, I immediately send him when he says yes, the consent. Right? Thinking that, oh you oh damn, you're right. You know, you, I did no. No. That's when he says, yo, I'm not playing with you niggas. I'm gonna have to see about you niggas playing with me and take it down. And that's all I'm saying, basically. I know what I'm about to see about you niggas mean. That means I will kill you, nigga. That's what that means. I will kill you. So, that $750, I didn't have that $750 before this video. And I wasn't going to risk my life for another $750 or even two or $3,000 that the video possibly could have made. So, I privated the video and it went away but i but i wanted to ask what other people thought that was in the industry right so i reached out to a few people that was in the industry one person told me yo listen cut your losses them niggas is gangsters and i'm like damn then i talked to somebody else that's been in the industry for a long time a former rapper a former platinum rapper and he says yo Listen, I can see where he's coming from. He don't want his house on the internet. You know, maybe just hit him back up and just say, oh, yo, my bad, I ain't mean no harm. And just leave it at that, take the video down, and just go about your way. So I'm like, okay, so yeah, to take the video down is probably the best thing to do. Um, so the video was down. Uh, my takeaway, my takeaway. My takeaway from this entire ordeal, one, is that everyone needs to be documenting what they're doing, right? Um, this is a this was a video from like 2021, and just posted a raw raw video on um, on YouTube, and it made me $750. It doesn't know I don't know who else rips the video, and then they make money off of the video. This, that video possibly could make 10 grand. And I come to this conclusion, it's like, I have five to $10 million sitting on my hard drives from when I started documenting all the way until I continue to document, right? If you look at the Kanye West documentary that Netflix paid $30 million for, to the directors for basically raw footage, right? So everyone needs to be documenting, like, um, this was proof, and I'm seeing it more and more, more and more. You're starting to see old footage pop up. But the thing is, what people are missing is, it could be an old video. Jason Tatum just won the, the uh, NBA championship, and it could be an old video of Jason Tatum, but he doesn't own it, right? Um, and it can make thousands of dollars amongst you know among the internet over and over and over right but he he gets nothing because he doesn't own the content so if you're putting it out you're documenting you go document yourself you become somebody you do something in the world you're sharing your experiences you need to be documenting you need to start now second takeaway second takeaway youtube is real i did not know that youtube was real before this happened right i can see why everyone is trying to do YouTube and I can see why the YouTubers that are successful on the platform are continuing to do YouTube because the money is real like that video out of nowhere I mean it's not much money 750 bucks but it's out of nowhere right now imagine if you um, you 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 develop an audience for your content and you add value to people imagine the revenue that you can make not only through AdSense that was just AdSense but through sponsorships and things like that so that was my second that was my second takeaway is to take it serious that's one of the things like 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 these takeaways are how YouTube really changed my life 
The third is, I'm like, man, why isn't everybody doing this? Why isn't everybody doing this? Because everybody has an experience in something that they could be adding value to someone, right? And the takeaway also that I took away from it is, why ain't, why am I not doing it, right? I'm thinking about like sharing this journey like just raw and candid just like this right like with a camera like most of the time my videos are take the best clip cut it and then go to another clip but just long form just talking because man I have the my document my journey documented from 2005 or even beyond that right my first and only record label my rap career but that journey and thinking about not just the music but what goes into starting that record label I can give advice and I can show people how to do that um, because we did something with that music that made like thirty thousand dollars in a month right um, the marketing you know the ideas but then going to Swag University right where it was a production company but then I got Kodak to give us a $25,000 check for a really, really shitty video of an idea, right? Um, and then got advertiser after advertiser to advertise on this show. And even hired former, like at the time she was like on MTV, but Amanda Seals, but she turned out to be like a really, really big, big star, right? Um, but I hired her um, because I felt she fit with the show. So all of these things as like patterns and steps and things like that in order to build something uh, and make something successful. Then moving on to Project Swag, right? Where we're, we're making impact with these young kids and telling these stories, but then we're partnering with the NHL teams like the Buffalo Sabres, partnering with the NFL, uh, the New England Patriots, partnering with the Jabberwockies, the uh, Rob Gronkowski, um, T.I., the rapper T.I., to make these things happen and having all of that stuff filmed. That's a process into, into doing that. Then to building a container store and then placing it downtown in uh, Centennial District in downtown Atlanta. Um, and then exiting out of that business and selling that and it's still there to this day. This is my old shop right here that I got permitted to put in here and they still running the business out of here which is which is really really good pretty cool to see my shop still here so uh all the way to my my last venture before my startup which is the box truck company right um to getting that started so my entrepreneurial journey like i've been a founder of four to five maybe six businesses that have caught traction but it's all off of ideas that I'm thinking about doing maybe some uh, consulting to help people with their ideas and to take their ideas and make them tangible so they can make money online um, I mean all the way to like my you know last thing I will mention is to move into Columbia and starting all dreams right so all of these things I've you know I've been doing and um, I want to share my process and how I've been able to make money without having a job in, let's say, <laughs> I can't even remember it, over 20 some, over 25, 27, I don't know. If anybody watches this video, man, let me know, like if you want to learn how to take your ideas to make money online and build something, because I can help you. Um, and I would love to help you. I do it. To, I do it for my friends for free. Uh, but if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know. Um, but you should start documenting now. Like your life is a, is a documentary film, and you should do start documenting now. And um, let's turn that into something where it can make you revenue. Because I, I know everybody, man. Like at this point, man, the economy is so bad. Like nobody's really trying to work no jobs, and you know. It's hard to get a job, right? Um, especially a good job that you want to go to every single day. Um, 
I think it's better to build yourself right now as a personal brand because that's way that's the way the world is going. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's you know that's that's my that's my thoughts about that. This is episode four of the new content that I'm creating, and I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I really want to add value, and I really want to again get let you guys get to know me, and I want to add some value to you. So. July 4th, uh, gonna go swimming at my sister's house and uh, hang with the family. So that's it for this video. Peace.